I will be showing you how to get ray tracing in Minecraft. My name is Storm Ranger, and on this channel I show you how to get ray tracing in Minecraft, how to play the latest Minecraft updates and games, and how to improve at all sorts of Minecraft related things, so be sure to subscribe with notifications so you don't miss out on anything, and help us get to 20,000 subscribers, you're getting insanely close, and that would help us out a ton. So ray tracing is a new and fancy Minecraft feature that is coming to the game, and today I'll be showing you how to get it. Of course, this new feature is very demanding on your computer. You must have a computer with an Intel Core i5 equivalent or greater CPU, a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 or better, 8GB of RAM, 2GB of storage, and the Windows 10 64-bit operating system. If your computer does not have these specs, however, do not worry, there are other ways to get unofficial forms of ray tracing, and if you want to see a video on that, let me know by leaving a like or leaving a comment. Okay, so to get ray tracing, we are obviously going to need to start on the Windows home screen. From here, you're going to want to head to the GeForce Experience app, which should come pre-installed on your computer. Now on my laptop, I have a shortcut to it, sitting right over here on my home screen. However, if that is not the case for you, you're just going to want to type in GeForce down in the search bar, and it should pop up for you. So once the app loads, you'll most likely need to create an account, or at the very least, log into your already existing account, which you can do by clicking the log in button. Now if this is your first time logging into the app, you may get a notification about optimizing your games. Don't worry about this, just make sure that the box is checked, and then click the skip button. Now it is at this point that you'll need to update your drivers to the latest version to be able to experience ray tracing, which you can do by clicking the update driver button that you can see here. Now if you don't get this notification, you can check to see if you already have the latest drivers by clicking the drivers tab and then looking up here. Anyway, it should only take you a few minutes for your drivers to download, and once they are downloaded, simply click the express installation button and wait a few more minutes for the drivers to install. You will know that the drivers have been successfully installed when you see installation complete on your screen. Now unfortunately, ray tracing is only available in the Windows 10 edition of Minecraft. However, as I did mention before, if you want a guide on how to unofficially get ray tracing in the Java edition of Minecraft, let me know by leaving a like on this video or down in the comments. So if you don't own the Windows 10 version of Minecraft, do not worry because if you purchase the Java edition of Minecraft before the date of October 19th, 2018, you can claim a free copy of this version by heading to account.motion.com, of course link in description, then logging in, and then under Minecraft for Windows 10, clicking claim your free copy. From this point, you'll be asked to sign in to your Microsoft account, and then you have the ability to redeem an already entered in code. Alright, so assuming you now own a copy of the Windows 10 version of Minecraft, you'll be able to install it through the Microsoft Store. Once it is installed, you will then need to go and download another app by the name of Xbox Insider Hub. This is because as I went in making this video, ray tracing is still in beta, therefore you'll need this app to access the beta version of the game. Of course, if ray tracing is officially out by the time you're watching this video, then this and several of the following steps will be irrelevant and you will likely be able to access ray tracing through the normal version of Minecraft. Anyway, once you have installed and opened the app, you should see a screen asking you to join the Xbox Insider program, which you can do by clicking the join button and then clicking accept. Doing that should take you to this screen that you can see. From here, you'll want to click the inside content tab and then click Minecraft for Windows 10 and finally click join. At this point, you should get a notice asking which version of the Minecraft beta you would like to launch. Clearly, you want to select Minecraft for Windows 10 RTX beta and then confirm that by clicking done and then accept. Once you've done that, back in the Microsoft Store, another version of Minecraft for Windows 10 should download. Once it is installed, simply click the play button and then Minecraft will launch. However, we are still not done, you cannot just jump into a game and expect for ray tracing to work. 
So from the home screen, you will need to go to the marketplace and then click on Ray Tracing World slash NVIDIA RTX. Now unfortunately, Ray Tracing currently only works on one of these six worlds. So to be able to play these worlds, you'll need to download them, which you can do by clicking download. So once these worlds are downloaded, to play in them, you'll need to go back to the Minecraft home screen, click play beta, then create new world, and finally, choose the world you want to play in under my world templates. You just need to go about creating the world, and just like that, you will have ray tracing working in Minecraft. Of course, since it is Minecraft, you can do whatever you want in these worlds and enjoy your ray tracing. Now, if I was able to help you all out, and you want to learn more about how to get ray tracing in Minecraft, how to play the latest Minecraft updates and games, and how to improve at all sorts of Minecraft related things, you can start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on anything and help us get to 20,000 subscribers. Once again, we are getting super close by clicking here. And if you want to watch another video by me on how to play Minecraft Earth, you can just click here. But that is all I have for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.